What's going on YouTube? It's Cam Dorian. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a overview of my first motorcycle, my 2019 CSC SG250 San Gabriel. This is basically a beginner bike. There's freaking bumblebees over here buzzing their life away. Anyway, yeah, so this my first bike it's a 250 cc so these bikes are made in asia shipped and built in california and shipped right to you you basically order the bike online just like you're buying a tesla and they ship it to you in a big wooden box so part of the experience there is getting your bike out of that box um, so it has 229 and a half cc's so it's a pretty small engine um, it's kind of like the the 250s you ride at the MSF riding course small cylinder single cylinder bikes very easy to control It has 16.1 horsepower at 7,000 rpm and 13 and a half foot-pounds of torque at 5,500 rpm So it's uh, yeah, it's pretty weak um, But it's it's still a pretty peppy bike. Um, it's fun to learn on fun to mess around on so it's an air-cooled counterbalanced single cylinder engine with a five-speed transmission. It's got that chrome single megaphone exhaust. Has a nice exhaust note, which I'll put on for you guys in a little bit. The new 2021 model actually has a black steel megaphone, which I think would have looked way better. Um, I might swap that out to get that exhaust if I can. It's got front and rear disc brakes, so you have plenty of stopping power, which is pretty nice. It is a chain drive. That's the rear disc. It is a chain drive, so you know you do have to lube that chain once in a while, kind of maintain it, make sure it's not too loose. You know, check the slack. It has a normal kickstand and also a center stand, so it makes maintenance really, really easy. The riding position is pretty tight. Um, your feet are pretty much behind your knees. Uh, I'm about 5'5", five five, so it's pretty cramped for me. I, I don't really like this rear position, or I guess it's kind of like mid position, um, depending on how tall you are. But yeah, it's pretty much rear. Uh, but it is fun to just throw your leg over and just kind of go crazy with it. Uh, it doesn't go that fast. The max speed on this little rocket is 68 miles an hour. Although I don't really think it can get that high. Probably tops out at like 55, 60 maybe. Um, it's got an amazing tachometer, speedometer, and all the information you need. It's got gear indicator, fuel gauge, everything. So I'll show you, I'll show you guys that a little bit later. It's got a four gallon massive gas tank. So you pretty, pretty much never run out of fuel. I think I've filled this up maybe once or twice in like two years of owning it just because I don't really ride it that often and when I do ride it it barely uses up any gas even if I'm just like you know pulling on that throttle like crazy and even if I'm riding aggressively it's got aluminum rims spoked wheels so it has that classic look it is basically a cafe racer style of a bike that they kind of used in Europe to race from cafe to cafe I guess it's called a cafe racer so this is like the old original style of motorcycle it's got a super low 26 inch seat height so you'll have no issues touching the ground flat footing this yeah so this was my first bike right after getting my motorcycle license after I took the MSF riding course um, and you know it was so easy to just order online it arrived in a box took it out of the box and set it free and it's just a really easy bike to learn on it's really small it's really light it's only 278 pounds um, so you know you don't have to really worry about dropping it and even if you drop it it's not that hard to pick it up yeah so uh, this was my first bike and basically I outgrew it in one month I basically mastered it and was kind of bored of it after a month and it was still very fun to ride it was just that you know I would only ride for like 30 minutes or so just because I was kind of get bored of it um, given that it doesn't have much power and doesn't really have you know that much of a top speed um, to just enjoy even riding on like, you know, longer stretches of local roads Because um, you know, we can only max out like 50 um, And then you know, even at 50 the engine is kind of 
sounds like it's uh, gonna explode or just kind of sounds like it's gonna vibrate the crap out of itself um, but you know, don't get me wrong it is fine um, I have driven it you know for extended periods of time at some of the higher speeds and there's no issues it's just that it's not that comfortable you know it's vibrating it's kind of revved out um, but again not bad as a first beginner bike um, and I would definitely never sell this bike just because it's where it all began um, my obsession with motorcycles and just the joy of riding um, but it did actually all begin in high school uh, where I learned to ride on dirt bikes um, but yeah 15 20 years later I took the MSF course got my license and never looked back so you can get this bike online for $21.95 it's pretty inexpensive for a, a brand new motorcycle um, the newer 2021 model is $22.95 um, and then it's a $400 dealer prep and shipping fee um, which is not bad so you're getting a brand new motorcycle for you know, $25 to $2,600 um, shipped and at your door ready for you to unbox so it's a pretty cool experience um, yeah I've enjoyed it so far so let's turn this bad boy on so you can see the tachometer and the speedometer so it is blue and you can actually change the colors of it which is pretty cool if I remember how to do it so that is adjusting the trip so th I have 376 miles so far I think if I hold it, yep, change the color. So you got green, you got red, kind of like a teal, a yellow, purple or pink, wow, a white, and blue, my favorite. So we're sticking to blue. So you got the battery. Uh, voltage there 9 to 15 so we're okay we got the rain we got the mileage total we got a fuel gauge e empty and full we got rpms on the bottom here 0 to 12 even though i think it maxes out at like 9 um, we got the gear indicator so yeah you get a lot of bang for your buck with this bike a lot of features um, obviously the headlights on the passing lights everything you, know, you got the clutch you got these obnoxious mirrors which you know they are what they are um you know they're huge but and they vibrate like crazy at top speed at higher speeds um but you know they're just mirrors so not a big deal you can swap those out and the headlight is really nice it's got an led headlight um so it's very powerful very bright no issues riding at night even though i don't do it that often um you got the indicators so let's turn her on so there is so this is a carbureted engine so basically you got to put the fuel on so this is the off position and you turn it down for on and then up for reserve so when you know you know when you're running low on gas if it starts sputtering put the reserve on you know you got like you know maybe five ten more miles in it so you can get to a gas station so let's put it on get that fuel flowing got the ignition switch got the starter I, di I didn't charge the battery this winter, so I'm thinking the battery is probably a little low. But you just throw it on the, the quick charger a couple days and get it back up to power. We yeah, had no issues starting. It does have it does have a choke, which I have on the on the mid setting. You see it there? That's the choke right there. Um, so it's off now. And this is fully on but it doesn't like fully on for some reason um, and that's the middle position and now it's off so yeah that is the exhaust note it's not bad I mean it's not like insanely obnoxious but yeah it sounds nice not bad $2,500 for this bike. It is a joy to ride. It's got the springs in the back, the dual piggy. It's got dual springs in the back, so it's not bad at absorbing shocks, but it's not amazing. It's got the dual forks in the front. See that headlight light up. Yeah, it's a nice bike. The tires are pretty skinny, um, but you know, it's not like a super 
Fat Bob or any kind of fatty. But uh, yeah, it's a fun beginner bike. So um, that's it for the overview. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Give it a nice thumbs up. Also consider subscribing for more videos. And also keep a lookout for the next video where I take this bike on a ride. It's always a pleasure. Take care, be safe. I'll catch you in the next video.